So like no matter Oh my god, bro. What? So like no matter where you are in this box, as of right now, this hammer will clearly reach anyone. So if you box up next to someone, just straight hammer their box. I, this is the matter where it's literally hammer or be hammered. The only thing that I didn't include in this video was to use code chem beans, but I'm going to throw that at the front. Oh, so. I'm just going to invoice you for this, okay? I'm All right. Send you an invoice. <laughs> All right. Is that everything we need for this video? Okay. So long story short, whatever this title is of this video, it's just going to be me trying to talk about the most up-to-date box fighting techniques and how the pros go about box fighting. This is the stuff that I've learned and Brandon here is going to be my helper today. <laughs> so, okay. Now I'm going to read, I'm going to redo the intro. You see this fish right here? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, that looks like you. Box head. No, nah, it's gonna look weird when you jump cut. Yeah, I know, but and then we're just in a <laughs> game. Like, what is that? Like, just redo the f intro. Bro. <laughs> no. Like, no. so here's some of the ways I saw you can use this hammer. This is gonna be tip number one. In the Martas video that I just watched, he was doing this. So you can use the hammer to diagonally go into someone's box, kind of like a crash pad. So let's test it out. <laughs> I swear I saw it work. All right, wait. Build. Oh, it might need to be metal, bro. Okay, wait. All right, here. Let's try again. You're so dumb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That worked. That worked. So this is Future Ken, and I'm pretty confident when I say that I think Martas was able to do this because the enemy was holding his cone bind right above his box. So when he hammered, he got stuck on that cone, and then he was in the box ready to one pump. Nevertheless, this move is hard, but it's doable in the right circumstance. Something that I've seen a lot of pros do is when they're build fighting, yada, 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 let's say Brandon cracks me. I'm going to create a box and then he's going to try and come and box fight me. So as he's box fighting me, let's just say we're in the heap of a lot of builds. So drop down one more. Right away, one of the first things I can do if I get weak, I can go right up and break all the builds and now I can have height. So I can turn the box fight into a build fight and use this to get the height really quickly and then he'll have to build up and then that's when I can, you know, shoot him and, and whatnot. Okay, so I saw Jamper do this. This is the next tip. And I saw Jamper do this in box fights and he makes it look very easy. So this is how pros are using the hammer in their box fights. So here, and then you hit it like this. It gives you a delay and you have the option to either wait for that delay to go away or what I've seen pros do a lot is they smack a wall like this and then they instantly try and grab a wall right here right away so it cancels the animation here pop this big i'm gonna try not to hit you this time so here let's say we're create a box let's say we're box fighting like this what you could do right away is just hammer wait oh you can't hammer your own builds that's why that doesn't work so if you have an open wall you come here and you can grab the wall right away. Now, granted, not all the time am I going to just shoot him away like that. I'll show a clip on screen of the one I saw on Twitter. Here, you can pop this mini. But it's a really OP strat to just grab a wall like this. And you can see how I canceled the animation after I swung my hammer. Go to the corner of the box. Yeah, yeah. So you can see if I edit this open and just smack, I get the wall like this and I can go for peace control just like that. And that's a really OP box fighting move. I guarantee you that a lot of pros are going to be doing that in cash cups. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to let this fully build. Okay, so we'll test it on a brick wall. Yeah, like right away. You that's the easiest way to claim a wall. I swear it is. Place one metal wall. That's enough. All right, nice. Let's let this full build. I want to see if it works on metal as well. Okay, ready here. Let's test it. Wow, bro. It literally takes any material right away first try. That's got to be the best way to set up a box fight. You can just run right on that box and then just instantly try and take it first try. And it might catch them off guard. You never know. I think we're going to see a lot of that happening in cash cups, to be honest, because pros are just going to naturally try and just full piece someone really quickly. The only one that I'm not too sure about is let's see if I build above diagonally going across like Martas did. I'm not sure how he got it to be so consistent. Maybe it was just luck. Also, I know that if you're in a building and the walls are stronger, you may be able to go diagonally into someone's box. But as I'm testing it right now, it's almost impossible. If we're diagonal from each other. Wow, wait, so you were all the way in the corner? Uh, I might have been a little bit up. All right, yeah, go in the corner again. Go all the way in the corner. So like, no matter... Oh my oh, yeah, god, bro. What? So like no matter where you are in this box, as of right now, this hammer will clearly reach anyone. So if you box up next to someone, just straight hammer their box. I, this is the matter where it's literally hammer or be hammered. Hey, yo. It's literally crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> Who do you think you are? No, I'm dead. <laughs> Yo, can I rocket ride you real quick? You can try it. Three, two, one. Just jump. Oh, <laughs> I'm a beast. This is lit. 
catch, 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 catch. I got it, bro. I got it. <laughs> so, all right. Now, here are the rest of the box fight tips. These ones do not include the hammer. These are like the most up-to-date stuff that I see pros using. Okay, so this is probably going to be the most annoying tip uh, that you guys are going to know. And when people do this against me, I absolutely hate it. So I learned this from a pro and I started doing this in all my tournaments. And even when I fight anyone sweaty in arena, it's like literally the first thing I do. So let's say here, just shoot me and like hit me however much with that shoddy. So the second I get shot, I turn around and I create four boxes like this, right? And now go ahead, try and take a wall and pressure me. So as you try and like get in and box fight me, I'm just gonna stay behind peaks. Now you can continue and now I'm gonna go. And now if I go and tarp around this side and he tries to take the wall in front of me again, hold up, he's not over there though. Wait, <laughs> okay. so now if he pressures me from here, you could see I created another four boxes and I have a right hand peak. So if he continues to pressure me, I can, you know, go on any side. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so go ahead, crack me. We'll do it like fast motion. Try and pressure me. And then I just go around him and I can use these boxes to constantly play behind a right hand peak like this. Like that. Also, if he does manage to come in my tarp completely, I can go out the top and I can have double edits above him as well. So it's literally like the best defense to a box fight whenever you're weak. You just set up four boxes. Go ahead, pressure me. <laughs> you just got dog. How are you bot walking on keyboard? I don't know. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Here, pick up these guns. I got you. <laughs> This next tip I made a full tutorial on in one of my videos going to be linked above me right now. It teaches you the easiest way to literally just run up and full build inside someone's box. So here, so you can full build inside anyone's box and the only wall you can't get is this wall right here. So I teach this in an entire another video. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to do it besides just looking down and then just holding your build out. I mean, it is practically that simple, but you can check out the video above. So pros will do this in the literally in the matter of seconds. So let's just keep box fighting. And then boom, come like this and they'll have all the walls. And then as you can see, that just makes peace controlling so much easier. So when you do get this down, which I recommend you practice it, it's going to make box fighting way easier to do, especially when you're versing someone who doesn't put cones inside their box. I'm going to show some examples on screen now of me doing this a lot in arena. And it's not even meant for just placing the stair inside someone's box. A lot of times when someone's on the run and I know they're weak, I'll just instantly try and place that wall to block them and use that time to take this one and then go for a shot. So this move, I was versing a pro, his name was Polarize. And Polarize is an extremely good box fighter. So let's say Brandon cracks me, right? So just smack me. Okay, boom. So if pretend I'm the pro here. So Brandon would try and take my wall and what he would do is exploit in. So when he exploits in, go ahead, do it. <laughs> okay, I choked. Okay, oh, I didn't know you were 39 HP. I'm not the best at it, to be fair. You have to be very, very quick with this. Go ahead, so shoot me. I'm creating a box. Brandon's gonna try and exploit in. He sucks at it. <laughs> Pre-fire them and flip your cone right away. Even against the sweatiest players. Go ahead, do it to me again. <laughs> You're so drone at it. It is a move that can stop them from shooting you because you got to think there's a delay in between when you take out your pickaxe, you have a pickaxe out, and then I take my gun out in between the jump. So in that time, if you're quick enough to flip the cone, you will literally get a crack. And then at that point, it's a 50-50 and you'll have a way better chance at winning. I've talked about this tip before. And when it comes to box fighting people and attacking them on a sidewall, this is what you do real quick to set it up. You edit this and then you drop down. Now, if Brandon makes an edit, go ahead, make any sort of edit. Right away, I just shoot and I place my own floor. Pros will do this all the time and they set it up really quick. And then the second... He edits, he's just dead. That has to be one of the best ways to set up a box fight from that angle. Look at me, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so I take this wall. When I make an edit right now, if he, if he thinks I'm about a 50-50, he's probably going to shoot me right away. So go ahead. When I make this edit, shoot. And then I use that time. So go ahead. Do it. Shoot. I use that time to shoot him back and place the wall again. So let's say I'm full piece in someone, right? And I got like a dirty clip coming. And then I take this wall and then I make a big edit. And then 
and then I can go for a shot like that. Now, obviously, we're in a practice mode right now with Brandon, so it's going to be like awkward. But there's times where I'm going to show on screen right now where I was versing Joji, who is a really good Fortnite player. And he took my wall and he was trying to full piece me and he did the little reset thing. This is a slept on box fighting move because no matter who you are, if you're an insanely good player or you're really bad, I guarantee you that people will still fall for it. This one's just kind of a general reminder, but it's definitely going to help the people who don't really know about this too much. So a lot of times when it comes to making close quarter edits, you'll see a lot of people, they'll still like jump and try and go for a shot. This is just a reminder to really just not even go for the jumping and just crouch instead of trying to go for a jump. So depending on where Brandon is in this box, I'm not going to want to jump and try and give him a good angle. So let's say let's say you're like right here. So if he's right here, I'm not going to want to jump and give him a better angle. What I would do is just kind of go here and then shoot, crouch, and do that. Beginner players, what they do is they always jump on their right hand peaks. That's just a reminder to not be doing that. The best pros in the world, if you watch them, they're going to be not jumping at certain times. So I'm going to show you all the different types of phasing techniques to get inside someone's box. So the first one I do is when I take this cone, I would just edit it like this and just straight walk in. And no matter if he's turbo building, I'll still get in. A general reminder is when you do want to phase into someone's box, just like the normal way, I would attack this box like this and then I'd make the wall weak, then confirm it into a stair to jump in. The slight little delay of making the wall weak so he doesn't really know if I'm jumping in yet to turning it in and doing it out of fast motion will take them off guard. This is a slept on one, but if you also have the cone set up like this, you can just jump right in the same thing. A lot of people don't know that. I also have a clip from last season where I did this to someone and even Jiven was surprised about that move. This right now is one of the most up-to-date ways to safely attack someone's box and you want to initiate a box fight. This is what you do. Let's say I'm in a solo cash cup. I need a refresh. I'm going to go up to this guy's wall. I'm going to create a full box like this. And then I'm going to pickaxe it once, but really just hold my shotgun out. So just in case he makes any sort of edit, go ahead, make an edit. I'll always have first shot advantage like that. And then I can come back on the wall, take it if I, if I can grab it. <laughs> and then I'll be able to kill him from here. Let's just say as I'm doing this, he runs at me. So go ahead, run at me. I can reset. <laughs> oh, you suck. <laughs> okay, maybe not in this meta. <laughs> you could reset that cone and leave the box that way. This is probably the best box fighting tip you're ever going to get. If you're a more beginner player, this is going to help you win your fights way more. So anytime you're going to box fight someone, okay? So I see this box, I'm going to roll up on it. Instead of trying to go for a wall that is in front of them, I'm going to wrap around their builds to try and place walls that are not there yet. Always go for the walls that are not placed yet rather than attacking a wall that they already own. This helps keep the pressure up tremendously. And also you'll notice as I'm jumping, I'm trying to place the wall from really high up in the air so I can land on it and then go for full piece. The easiest way to box fight someone is to always go for the open wall. Just remember that the next time you're in a fight. There's one more thing I'm going to sneak in. Okay, so anytime you box fight someone and I'm going to roll up to this wall, right? If you're sitting on a cone, I can easily get a shot on him over that wall. So if, you, if you're ever build fighting like mid fight and then there's someone right above, you can just jump up and get a shot that way. And they'll literally almost never expect it. That's actually crazy. Yeah, you didn't know about that? E even from the high ground there, like that's actually nutty. Yeah, yeah, no, it is a pretty insane clip. I think for an outro, I think if this video gets 10,000 likes, Ken has to drop jiving and do it with me for a whole <laughs> Oh, no, no, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd rather die. That cannot happen. But I'll, I'll accept the deal because it's worth it at that point. Jiving's bad, but <laughs> you're fucking worse. <laughs> Yes. No! <laughs> no! You like that? You like that little tip right there? Yeah, bro. Find me on my open wall. Ah, no, I hit you with dude, the gun me the too. Air, bro. I just you taught you that move, bro. I just <laughs> taught you that move and you fell for it. You're not killing me 10 times in a row. Did I see not? Damn it! Here, I got an idea for an outro. Oh god, here we go. Yep, yep. <laughs> dude, you're so bad. It's not even oh man, but in reality, I got a better outro. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I hear that RPG. I gotta reload. Oh God. Come take my wall with one of your tits. <laughs> yeah, you're oh, there, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs>